Hey, what is up here, Rose? With the new Pokemon Sun and Moon trailer that just dropped, we finally got a release date for Pokemon Sun and Moon, and once again, Europe gets the game after everybody else. We get it November 23rd, and the rest of the world gets it the 18th. Why? I have no idea. But luckily, there is something we can do to actually play this game at the same time as the rest of the world. Well, technically, before the rest of the world. I did this back in 2014 with Oraz, as Europe got that a week later than the rest of the world, and got to play a little bit early, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so before I show you what to do, there are some things you'll need to know and do in order to get Sun and Moon early. One, you'll need a European 3DS. You'll need to format it during the process and have to make a new Nintendo ID. The ID part, I haven't seen a way around it, but there could be. I just found it easier to create a new one as I have multiple 3DSs and it wasn't a problem for me. So before we begin, I recommend the following. Back up your 3DS to your computer or transfer your settings to a second 3DS if you have one, because that would save you so much time. With that said, let's get into this tutorial. Alright, boot up your 3DS and you're going to want to head to System Settings. Once in the settings, go to Other Settings on the bottom right. Scroll all the way across and you want to go to Format System Memory. Now this is going to delete absolutely everything, so like I said, make sure you back all your data up and uh, hit Format and this might take some time, so I'll see you when it's done. Okay, once the format has been completed, the 3DS will restart itself. Choose your language, obviously I'm English, I'm going to choose English. And then you do the 3D calibration, you have to do this every single time. So just quickly activate the 3D, watch it do its little thing, then you can skip it after. Alright, with that done, go do some initial settings. So date and time, obviously put the correct date and time in. Today is the 14th of May 2015, so I'm going to be putting that date in. And then the time is uh, 1 o'clock, well, 8 minutes past, so just going to put that in. Okay, with that done, here comes the important part, the profile. So, put your username in, it doesn't matter what it is at all, I just put Voltsy in, there you go, that's my username. Then put your date of birth in, again, doesn't really matter what you put here, just put my birthday in, and bam, this is the important part. Put Australia as your region, doesn't matter what you put next, I just put um, Australian capital territory, doesn't really matter, you can put do not set, but I just put that in and uh, your profile has been set. So next we've got to continue with the uh, installation, got to go to internet settings, just put your internet settings in, because you're going to need to uh, connect to the internet in a bit. So once you've done the internet, parental controls, do not set, and then basically you're done. Hit the home button and it'll take you back to the home menu. So once that's done and you're at the home menu, all you have to do is click on the eShop, and basically you'll be taken to the Australian eShop. And obviously as Australia gets the game, on the 18th, the same time as everyone else, you can download the game from the Australian eShop on your European 3DS. So this is how we are going to play the game early. And the best thing is, 12 a.m. November 18th in Australia, when the game will release, is actually like 1 p.m. November 17th. So technically, we will be playing the game early in the UK, which is awesome. This is exactly what I did for Oraz back in 2014, and it worked 100%. Now you can't do this on a US 3DS, unfortunately, because the US uses NTSC settings, whereas the rest of the world, like Europe, Australia and all that, use PAL settings. So you won't actually be able to download the game. I mean, you can try, I'm not sure if it works 100% because I haven't got a US 3DS, but it would make sense because usually the US 3DS plays NTSC games and the rest of the world plays PAL games. But one thing you could do with a US 3DS is actually go to Japan and get the Japan settings and you can play the game about a couple of hours earlier, but it's no, it's no point for the US to be honest, you can wait a little bit. And uh, this is just a nice little way for the Europeans to get the game slightly early because for some reason we get the game five days later on a Wednesday. Usually we get our games on a Friday and Sun and Moon is coming out on a Wednesday for some reason. One thing to quickly mention is that you can actually change your 3DS region to Australia without formatting. But unfortunately you can't get on the Australian 3DS eShop. I tried, I don't know why you can't, but it kept saying something like your Nintendo ID isn't the right region setting. So that's why I had to create a new Nintendo ID to get this. Well, there you guys go. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys get your sun and moon early and we can start playing it before the rest of the world. Well, technically not before Australia, but before everyone else we can start playing it, which is pretty cool. Damn Nintendo making us wait five days. We'll find a way around it and play before everyone else. Haha. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Peace.